Simple question, what can you expect in Gdansk, Poland as a place to study in? Well, many things in fact. A beautiful mix of medieval and modern architecture, affordable living, delicious food, great people, a big beach, not far from nature and the outdoors, an exciting nightlife, and my personal favorite, cheap flights to the rest of Europe. There aren't many places in the world, let alone in Europe, that can check all of these boxes. And although it has deep roots and a long history, make no mistake, this is an ambitious city with its eyes firmly set on the future, which leads us to the topic of today's video. Imagine studying at one of the most beautiful campuses in all of Europe. A place with a rich history, state-of-the-art facilities, and located in an amazing city. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about none other than the Gdansk University of Technology. Let's check out this place. Hey everybody, welcome to Gdansk, Poland. My name is Paul and I'm going to be your guide for today's tour around this beautiful university. You know this place is nice when even Netflix and HBO are filming some of their shows here. From the main courtyard here, let's head into the main building. This building will be one of the first things you'll see when you come onto campus. It has classes, it has auditoriums, labs, and it has the library, which is the first stop on our tour. You absolutely cannot miss it. It's literally the first thing you'll see when you walk into the building, and it's called Biblioteka Glowna. I'm sorry to all the Polish people if I pronounce that incorrectly. It has decent space and private rooms to study, books of course, but it has the coolest thing which really shows the duality of this school being historic and being modern. We need to talk about that thing right there. I managed to find an empty one so let's check it out. Just look at this. Not only are we in the central library, we're in a quiet pod as well, so if the library's not quiet enough for you, why not check out a quiet pod? Tell me, how many universities have one of these on campus? But I digress, let's continue onwards to one of the upper floors of the main building to see what else we can find. <sighs> I'm genuinely curious if anyone's actually taken a nap here because it's probably a place where I would have taken a nap when I was in university. For all you architecture students, you're going to find the Faculty of Architecture on the top floor of this main building right here. So let's go find something interesting here. There are obviously computer labs and strangely enough, little nooks for people to sit and work and relax, I suppose. Moving on from here, we found something quite cool, which is the Digital Architecture Lab. This one has a 3D scanner, 3D printers, and students and faculty will typically set up these printers to print over a weekend since it apparently takes days for 3D printers to print models. And here are some examples of these models here. Let's head back very quickly though. I do need to show you one thing that I passed along the way up. Gdansk Tech has a bunch of what they call chill out zones throughout the campus and this is one of them. No shoes, no noise, just chill. Let's go test it out. Alright, let's continue the tour. So that was the main building. And now, to your left, we have nanotechnology and the chemistry buildings. Let's go check them out. As you can see, we did film this in the middle of winter. Gdansk gets about three to four months of snow every year. Outside of that, Gdansk also has very warm and very nice summers. So you can have a glimpse of that card in the top right. We are walking to the left now. We have chemistry all right here, chemistry lectures. And then tucked in right in the corner of the campus, we have nanotechnology. Let's see what we can find in this building. We're sitting in one of the oldest lecture halls on campus right now. And just look how well they've preserved this entire place. I can smell the 120 years of history coming from this hall right here. We're in the chemistry building right now and you're probably going to find yourself right here. You'll obviously find your laboratories and your research groups here as well, but it's like you're in Hogwarts. It's no wonder why people film TV shows and movies here. So that was chemistry. Let's head over to nanotechnology. 
Okay, for all you nanotechnology people, you're going to be spending quite a bit of time right here. It's one of the newer buildings on campus, and it has mostly smaller classrooms and some laboratories. But laboratories will include machines like this beast right here. Nanotechnology is a branch of science that studies atoms and molecules on the nanometer scale, which is very, very small. It's pretty fascinating stuff, but it does include machines like these and computers because it's not something we can do with just our eyes. But let's head on to the next part of campus. So we just finished with chemistry and nanotechnology. We're back at the main building. Let's go on the other side of the campus. There's so much more to see. Over here, we'll be checking out these three buildings. So the main building is here and right next to it is the welcome office and the university store. The university store is where you can find all your school merchandise ranging from hoodies, sweatpants, shirts, bags, notepads. But I just want to quickly show you one thing in here, which is this. A freaking canoe strung up in the ground. There are so many little details like this that have gone into every part of this campus. So have a look around, buy something, and let's get some of that school spirit going. Right next to the store, we have one of many coffee slash restaurants on campus. There are about eight of these scattered throughout the university. But I know you ain't just here for the food. Let's have a quick look at this, and then let's head over to the welcome office. The welcome office will be one of the first places that you go when you arrive on campus. So don't be shy, stop by, say hi to the staff. They're amazing people. They are a great resource and they're actually here to help you get settled in Gdansk and in Poland. So don't hesitate to be in contact with the welcome office. We're now going from the welcome office over to electrical engineering. Some of these buildings are big and have some of the most random designs and artwork lying around. So if you keep an eye out, you'll see some pretty interesting designs on all of these buildings. For example, a hand grabbing electricity on the ceiling of a staircase or a sculpture of a dragon. And speaking of dragons, if you like them, this school might literally be the one for you. They have dragons all over the place. I'm talking inside, outside, a dragon breathing fire on a person. So I kid you not when I say parts of this university seriously looks like Hogwarts. I did try to walk into a live lecture. Let's just say I got some weird looks, so I wasn't there for long. Moving on, we have some old electronics from way back in the day, definitely before I was born. But of course, we're gonna have to quickly double check to see if any of these switches do anything. Uh, of course, they, they don't. So uh, yeah, let's get out of here. I'm not feeling comfortable. I may or may not be having way too much fun. Laboratories in electrical engineering, check. By the way, there is also a fancy electrical engineering building that's about a 10 minute walk away, right on the edge of campus. It was actually fenced off, so here's uh, an outside look. I'm telling you guys, this school and this city and this entire country is a huge mix of classic architecture mixed with modern architecture. And next, we got mechanical engineering. That old chimney right there, that was actually unstable and was supposed to be demolished by the university, but instead, what did they do? They had all of their engineers come together to build a support structure and this building which now surrounds it, which makes up the mechanical engineering building. It is a big open space, lots of machinery, classes and labs lying around on the sides, but this big hall here was surprisingly empty today, but I have no complaints. We can have a look around and not get any weird looks, except for maybe one person right there. And unfortunately, I'm not a mechanical engineer. I couldn't tell you what anything is, so here's, uh, here's me walking around, seeing what we can see, and let's head on to the next building. So that was mechanical engineering. Let's head over to telecommunications now. On our way to the telecommunications and informatics building, we did walk by mathematics, which is this building right here. There are mostly lectures, so I won't bore you with the details. We won't go inside today. Next up, we have telecommunications and informatics, which is that building right there, which is kind of obvious if you see those ones and zeros all across the building. 
we're not going to show you any lecture classes. We're going to a very unique lab, something so unique that in my opinion, really puts this university above many others across all of Europe. And it involves this right here, the cave. It's a massive virtual reality slash simulation setup. The sphere on the right is a cage where you can step into it, record yourself in 3D, and the cave itself, which is this cube on the left, that displays images in a 3D environment on panels all around you. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is so crazy. Yeah, it really feels like you're falling. But even environments like this, where you're wearing 3D glasses, you're being placed in a virtual space where you can actually see your arms and legs, it's honestly still good enough to trick your brain into thinking and feeling like you're actually falling. There are only two universities in all of Europe that has something like this, and Gdansk is one of them. This is not a small campus, people. This is a massive university that has heavily invested in itself, not only to make sure you get the best education possible, but to make sure you get the best experiences as well. And now we got management and economics. Let's check it out. Although it's a technology university, Gdansk Tech covers a variety of subject areas, ranging from what we saw earlier with architecture to all of your STEM subjects and to management and economics as well. I'm really loving the fact that the university really likes to include students in a lot of their projects around campus, from architectures designing a part of the campus and their buildings to engineers helping build those new buildings. It's a very collaborative university. Next stop on the list, we have student accommodations. This is just one of the many dorms here on campus. And there are, of course, many dorms off campus as well. About a 10 to 15 minute walk away, but close enough to get to university and to get around the city as well. Since we filmed this during the semester, all the dorm rooms were full and we actually weren't able to find anyone who was willing to show us what their dorm room looked like. So it's basically about what you would expect from student accommodation. Here's a quick look at what the kitchen looks like. So I imagine when it comes to accommodation, it'll get the job done. The day is finally coming to an end and before we end the video, it's worth mentioning something unique that's not academically related but makes this university so much more special and that is this university has a freaking nightclub on campus and it's not some dinky little university bar either. <laughs> It is a proper nightclub in the student club building and it literally puts some regular clubs in North America to shame. Welcome to Europe ladies and gentlemen. And in case you don't believe me, I'm leaving a link to their TikTok account in the description for you to check it out as well. Because university, it's not all about academics and the grades, but it's about the social aspects as well. It's about the people you meet and the experiences that you share. And Gdansk University of Technology is a place that seriously understands all of this. They understand the importance of how all these aspects have a huge impact on a student's life and their journey throughout university and and well beyond that. So if you're considering studying in Europe, you can't sleep on this one. This university is unreal. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Paul. Feel free to drop us a comment down below if there's something that you want to hear a little bit more about. And we'll see you on the next tour.